I don't know about y'all. I'm pretty excited. Today is the day. Let's bring that mic a little closer. Today is the day. After after learning much last week, after getting more more um, uh, summons to bring with, more trust. I have a team that'll go with me to the Palboro Mines, and I am going to slaughter every quad off there, complete some missions, and I am going to see what is at the end of this cave. Now I'm not I'm I think at the very very end of the cave there's some enemies that are strong enough to kill me pretty easily, but. I know for a fact, with me and three other members going in, I can take out those wascally turtles. The Quadov and me have a very antagonistic relationship with one another. They, um... I don't even know what the best way to put it is. They have a way of... If I had to name the creatures that have killed me the most... I believe the award goes to the Quadov, I believe. I believe the Quadov are up there. Did I, did I go too far up here? No, Mr. Mr. Mouth, I don't want you. I want to go around. I need to go around this way. So, we're going to go and have some fun. Um, if I remember right, also... Yeah, I do have a, a fishing pole ready to go. Um, we might do some fishing while we're in there. Just so I can fish away their, uh, their food and be like, just, eh, just go har har har, it's mine now. Once Palboro is done, then I'll jump in and I'll do a main mission. And then we'll jump back and do doing some more Pal... Not Palboro, but more side missions. Because this should be... Unless I come against something really, really scary in there. This should be my last time I ever have to go to the Palboro Mines. I hope. I pray. I, I send... I send... I send a request to the gods above. Please, let this be the last... These quad ups should still be too weak. Yeah, you guys are still too weak. Just let me in. Because I am about to bust through every single area of this cave. So we need Val. Val, Mini, and Tengen. One up. Yeah, you're the red mage, so you can heal. There. Let's do this. Come on, everyone. Let's test how quick this is going to go for a fight. Well. Okay, um, that was just me by myself. So, yeah, I think I'm not going to worry about any of you here. Yeah, and I don't think anything here is going to be a problem. So, next up. So, we got to go higher. At least I think we're still in the right place. I don't remember this part of the map. That's the thing. I don't remember this part looking like it did. There was an elevator, I remember. An elevator I had to use. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I can go this way. I was going to say I'm too high up. Wait, wait, wait. I do have a pickaxe. Um, how do I equip the pickaxe? So not through there. I do have a pickaxe. So how do I use the items? Come on. Oh, yeah, I got to click it. Okay. Let's see some pick. Oh, God. Look at me go. That's what we like to see. Okay. I know that I can do more than just swing it once and expect something to happen. Okay. How about we mine one thing and we call it good? Val, don't worry, I've got this. Oh, I got a pebble. I'm proud of myself. Let's go, guys. Well, I am here. A lot of pit hairs. Alright, I know you guys are, are ready to help me get to the end of this, this mine. But, I won't lie to you. You always gotta take some time for some fishing. 
Okay, it's a life lesson. Pa pa patience makes perfect. Practice does too, but patience is up there. See, like we didn't catch anything, so guess what we're going to do? We're going to try again. Before I use one of these pit hairs as bait. I must imagine the rest of the group is like, are we really, are we doing anything else here or what? Oh, it's a big one. Oh my god, it's a really big one. I have to try again now because I was really hoping I'd catch something. It was a bit. I was doing good, but it's, it was big. I feel like it's not gonna be anything great. I caught no, no. Actually, rusty bucket's very good. I need that. That's for a quest. I need a rusty bucket. That's good. All right, everyone on. Everyone get on. Tens and get on here. We're going up. I think I gotta resummon all of you when I'm up again, but I can live with that. The lever is so finicky. Okay, I'm on it. Come on. I've, I've used this level. I know there's not... Oh, oh. I think I just had it. A few moments later. There. It's down there. Okay. Yep, bring us up. Let's go. That burnt area down there we're going toward. There's also a crystal down there. A teleporting crystal. So, we're looking around to kill off some quad off, but I mostly want to head towards the crystal. So we're going to want to head, as long as there's no breaks in the road, which I don't think, I can't see any right now. So just straight left, yeah. So we're going to make our way there. Are you, st are you guys still close to level? Easy, okay, 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 okay. Oh, I don't worry. Oh, don't worry. You guys don't worry. You're going to get your fill. But um, uh, I'm making sure I'm ready for this, okay? Oh, don't worry. We're all going to get a turn on him. We're all going to go ahead and have some fun. I know what happens once you're further enough, far enough left in the game. I know what pops up. I Because I know these guys are here and they're like the easy ones. But then once you cross the river on the left, then they go up quite a bit. But I know I'm pretty close to taking them down. And with four of us here... I think we can take him down quick enough. We can take him down. I can heal if I need to heal. Then jump back into it. I took a day off from work today and I've been cleaning and taking care of the house. I'm not really like tired, tired. My animals are napping right now. My dog and my cat are both like resting. This is like normally around the time. They normally take it either at two o'clock in the afternoon or they take it around six-ish right now. So that's when they normally go on out for a nap. And it just so happens right now they're napping and it's making me tired because I'm like, well, geez. I won't take a nap, but then I lose hours of the day and then streaming and blah, 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 blah. To impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Jesus, Jesus, what the hell? It didn't even say a damage. It just said defeated. Oh my god. Val. I'm not, I'm not even worried about that quad up there. I'm, Jesus. <laughs> I got one swing in. I don't even know if I'm the one who killed the first one. Then Val jumps in. And just straight up solos too. Let's just keep that going. Jeez. Who cares about like healing at this point? All right, Val. Give me an instant replay. That was me! Let me see here. No, that was Val. Never mind. Val hit, he hit Val with 258 points of damage. I feel I feel a little cheap right now using Val. Val feels like he's a little bit, uh... He's a little too powerful. I feel a little bit cheap. Um, I'll, I'll take it. 
Val. Oh my god. He, his range is huge. Val. Oh my god. Um. Do the others also hit that hard? No one's gotten a chance to go in. Me first? I can't, like... Woo! But also, geez, Val. I... I do not want to get on Val's bad side. You know what? I'm okay with this. This... I'm okay with this right now. I have spent so much time fighting through these gosh darn mines. Fine. You know what, Val? Go ahead. Wreck their shit. Wreck each one of them. I ain't gonna stop you. Jesus, AOE is... Skill current... Oh. Mm. Level 7. So, defense of 7. Oh, it's going to be. So level seven, level seven. What's the big difference? I finally found a pair of pants that aren't nothing but weakness. Oh, oh my God. It feels so nice to have my legs covered again. It was, it was tradition for the longest time of no pants. I'm happy to have pants again. Now we're going to eradicate these mines. Who knew the Quadov would be harboring them? Honestly, with the with the issues I've had with the Quadov, I think I think it's it just makes sense. I think just out of spite they had a pair of pants that I'm able to wear, but always kept it within arm's reach of me. I think this is all a part of the master plan. Alright, Val. Do your stuff. Get rid of them. Get them. Additional additional. Oh, he survived. Someone survived the attack of Val. I'll take him, Val. I've got him. Let, let me deal with him. Okay, never mind. We all took a turn. That's fine. I feel bad for Tangan. Because at least Millie is at least like casting some forms of spells here and there. But Millie is... But I mean, Tenzin is just... <laughs> I feel bad. Because you got to think he's like... So am I just, am I doing anything or what? Well, Tenzin, technically, yes. I, I guess I'll just keep going around. Is there even a point to go and fight you guys right now? Okay, bye. So the furthest I've been is like a couple in across the river. So this is all going to be new terrain for me. Well, experience is experience. I wish they'd drop a chest, but... Yeah, around here, they don't really t drop them that much. He will get a turn at some point. <laughs> Tengen will get in there sooner or later. He'll get a show. Okay, these are the stronger guys. Okay, decent challenge. Good news. Tengen, I think this is where you get your smack... You get some fight going in. You get to swing that katana of yours. Yeah, I think this is where Tengen's gonna get... Yep, Tengen threw a hit. Tengen got some shots in. And Val uses Provoke too, so it's basically just a smackdown in the corner. You know what? You know what, guys? I want some credit for taking out an enemy. How much should we get off that? How much XP? What? Okay, 180. That's not bad. <laughs> what? Val. I feel bad for Val right now because... Now he's just getting... Sp well, I don't feel bad for Val. He's been one-shotting everybody. Plus, we got a healer on the team, the Red Mage. Plus, Val has a shield. Yeah, sh Val will be fine. You're fine, Val. I'm here just in case with you. Who's ready for an ass-kicking that y'all will honor for generations? Let the Blade of the Conqueror once again glory to the king. Jeez, Val! Val is not whole. 
Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna fight from the back so y'all can get a chance to hit this guy. I wanna see the others get in here. Alright, Tenzin. Okay, as long as I see that he's using moves, it makes me happy. So, still no nameplates. But yeah, pretty much for later on stuff. Home point. You're unable to teleport here from any other home point. Um, I'm good. I just wanted the home point. Um. Boss first. Boss first, everyone. All must die. Good, we're almost there. I love how it's just with the quad of like, no, 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 no. Hold on a moment now. I want to go and murder them. All right. Um, as much as I like to draw the old quad about SmackDown, SmackDown talk for the quad off. They have made my life. Uh, oh, that purple one I'm guessing is the boss one you're talking about. Yeah. They've made it a point in my existence. The crimson armor. I want that crimson armor. Sure. You first. I welcome all comers. Ooh. Don't worry, guys. I'm getting in on this, too. Everyone, just beat the shit out of him. I hate you. The bronze circlet of... No Oh, a bronze circlet. Oh, is that the... Ugh, I hope that's not what I think it is. I think I know what it is. I think I know what I just got. I think the circlets are the hell... It's the one that makes it look like I wear a tiara, I think. <laughs> wow. Just clubbed him in the face. I saw that, mini. Just took him and clubbed him. Wow, no poise or anything. Just cracked him in the head with it. It is dead. Okay, so it should say, an R of irrepressible might threatens to overwhelm you. Oh boy! Let's not deal with that. You're mining, right? Good. I have a pickaxe. Let's do some mining. Get in there. Chunk of mithril ore. The Warun Shrine. Whoa. There is no map. There's no map for this place. I'm afraid. I am a bit afraid. I came all the way for this. I'm doing it. A cursed seal has been placed upon this platform. I don't think there's anything I can do here, is there? I did it. I made it to the end. It's just this one room. I did it. Yay. We made it to the end of the Palboro Mines. Woo. We did it. Yeah. Woo. I am so happy right now. Well. Time to go find name tags. I guess I can see if there's something towards the center southern part here. Maybe there's something here I can go to. Um, if not, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably a boss there. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just killing Quadov, really. I can't really see anything else I really need to go looking or doing here. It's a lot more fancy when uh, he's closer to death, but it, it still got the job done. Wow, who did that? Kazakiri did. Kazakiri knocked that sob out, Tenzin. Jeez, Louise, Papa, jeez. Boat Wolf, hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm guessing you're strong. Okay, bye. We fishing. We've come deeper into the dun dungeon. I'm fishing. Let's catch something good. <laughs> we 
Well, guys, we didn't catch anything. So that's my sign to do it again. <laughs> Maybe I'll get another rusty bucket. I'm aiming for rusty buckets, boys and girls. I think I need five. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Of course not. The Beastman Seals can be exchanged for items that you give to that shiny circle to enter fights. Oh. So I should save a good amount of them, I get. I'm assuming save them is a good idea for the Beastman Seals. Man, just nothing biting. Val, you're really... You're scaring them away, man. Gotta be careful, Val. You kill as many of them as you'd like, guys. There's enough to go around. I left the egg chamber safe and secure. There's enough for everybody. You're up. Onyx quad up. Well, like, honest, uh, onyx ass cheeks. Ha <laughs> ha! So this is the machine. I'm just gonna keep hitting switches and, and see what happens. Yes. Nothing happens. Chunk of cop war, but your pickaxe breaks. Well, you know what? I got some more out of it, so I'm okay with that. What is with all these snapping moles? What can I even do with moles? I'm just running around with a bunch of moles in my pocket. And they bite, too. It's got to be the worst thing to carry around in this game. Just a bunch of moles in my pocket. Just squeal, and they're blind because they're moles. So there's a blind, bunch of blind, confused moles that are just biting at my leg. It's not even an item. It's an animal. The description even makes it see, even states it's a living thing that bites you. Why would I put it in my pocket? A dark steel engraving on the... Oh. Another snapping mole! What is with all of these moles? What am I going to do with all the moles? What do I do with moles? I, I don't think I can cook them. Can I cook them? Can I eat the moles? Do moles taste good? I've never eaten a rat either. I've never eaten a small vermin. Have I eaten... I haven't eaten a horse. I eat a horse. I've been watching Delicious in Dungeons, so now I'm just in the mood for animals. These are the questions I ask in life if I'm able to eat animals that shouldn't be eaten. Would I eat a person? That's a good question right there. Um... To not answer the question in a dirty way, I've never eaten a human. Would I eat a human? Well, that's the question. I don't think I would. I think unless this... I think even if it was the apocalypse, I don't know if I could eat a person. If I was starving to death and the person was already dead, may, maybe? Palboro chest key. Who am I supposed to... Well, I'm assuming there's a chest around here I'm going to need the key for. I would say this. Like, in the movies, you see the people who are just like, I had no choice, I had to eat my friend or something. I think if it truly came down to that, maybe then I would eat someone. But at the moment, I don't think I could ever eat a human being in my life. I don't think I could do it. But I would have to be a very, very last resort. I agree, too. I think it would have to be last resort. What is with all the snapping moles? What? Do I eat them? Do I use them as ammo for a crossbow? Do I tie them to a stick and use them as ammo? For a, for a, for an arrow? Wh what do I do with the things? Now, a lot of people would probably say, well, you'd eat the dog first. Well, if I don't know this individual. See, I don't mind if Frank eats a person. Because Frank's a dog. I might if I eat a person because it's like, okay, well, now I'm going into, like, some, uh, some darker situations in life. Would I eat a person before Frank? I think yes. But I think I'd have Frank eat the person before me. And I think if there was truly no other option after that, then yeah, I'd probably go and start brass cap again. And more snapping molds. I think Frank would probably be the first one to, to eat the human. And then if I'm getting too hungry and I really don't have a choice, then yeah, I'm, I'm going in next. I'm getting a sec. I'm getting a, a course of that. I think that's just the best way to go, go about it. Because like, if Frank's taken care of, I love him to death. But if I truly had no other options, at least I know I have another food. I don't know, like, 
I've heard stories of like people in like situations like that like would cut off their own arms and eat their own arms or like for legs I've heard of that being a thing the question is could I do that to myself would I eat my own leg before I ate my dog I think I'd eat my right arm before I ate my dog I would eat my right arm when it got to legs that's when it gets hard that's the hard decisions right there I think it would go other person then my right arm then my dog I, I treat I treat Frank like my own child I don't think I could bring myself to do it um, I think I don't know like hmm. I think I would have to I'd, I'd have to get all options out the window first before I ever touched Frank Because you'd say, like, well, I would never. I'm like, well, if we're talking about pure straight survival, then that's where a lot of lines get crossed. Pure, like, we're already talking cannibalism. There's already a line crossed right there with cannibalism. Um. I don't know, like, if it was a situation where I could hunt and gather food, that's different. But if I'm trapped in a situation... I don't know. So, I, I remember there was this old PETA billboard about where the line was in an apocalypse on what can be eaten and what can't or something. No, it was like, what can and can't be eaten and here's where the, where is the line drawn? And someone took it and like, okay, so here's normal, here's apocalypse, and here's if I have no other options. <laughs> and I think I agree with that one. Come on, come on. What the hell is with these snapping moles? Ooh, Tenzin. What do I do with this many snapping moles? I'm just killing you to get you out of here. Ooh, towering over me and shiz? Jeez. What's, what, what do I use this for? What do I use a snapping? Open a shop? Yeah, I think I should just open my own shop. Who wants to buy a snapping mole? All right, so old quad of or... Okay. This should also give me a breakdown for the old quad of um, drop rates. What? Okay, old quad. Okay. I gotta look at what the gosh darn, the snapping mole. What does a snapping mole do? What's the, what's the point of a snapping mole? Used in recipes for mole broth and savage mole broth. I can make mole broth? Oh, I need to be level 33 to make mole broth. Um... I guess I can save them. I don't mind putting them in a place. For, I guess like in the house area for that part of the menu. I could always just put them in a, um, uh, I could make a, put them somewhere in there to like, I don't know, like a chest or something for inventory to cook them later. All right. So this should be the boat. Yes. This is exactly what I need. All right. Everyone in the boat. Everyone in. And there we go. We're heading back to we're heading back to Bastock, ladies and gents. Let's go. I've got a rusty bucket. I think we're going. Yep, there we go. Okay. All right. Well, bye guys. I guess. I've got. A... Okay, that was supposed to happen. I've got a rusty bucket, and I've got a name tag that needs turning in. Hey, yo, I need in. Thanks, Drake. Man overboard. Yeah, I know. I went flying. Thanks, Drake. Shipments of mithril used to be ferried to this dock from the Palboro mines, but it's been closed off since the quad off took Palboro. Oh, boy. I've got some. I've got some. I did a good job getting what I need. I've become more powerful. I've got better armor. I have pantaloons. I can now summon an, a, a miniature army to fight alongside me. The Fellowship. A paladin, a white mage, a samurai, and me the warrior. For now. That, that will change, I promise. Then I need the subclass for ninja. Then I'll be dual wielding. Then I'll be a very happy camper. 
And then with that, I think I'll have the build I need to go and beat this game. I mean, I'm already working on it, but I'll have the build that I want the most. You, uh... You just chillin' there, Goro? Uh, Gorao? Beastmen are the same all over Valil. All they ever do is cause, cause trouble. The mercenary could take care of them, though. Not a bad choice of profession. I... I'm just here to turn in a name tag, bud. That's all I'm doing here. I ain't got no qualms with anybody. I'm just adventuring. I got quests to do. Oh, Pavgi. Ah, there you are, my friend. I would like to make a trade with you. A little birdie told me, you, you told me, you were looking for a silver name tag. In the Palboro Mines, yes. You found a silver name tag. Yes, I have. Thank you. I don't know what the me this means to me. There should be others where you found this one. If you find them, please bring them to me. I'm sorry I can't give you much, but here's your reward. Oh. Cornelia, hello. I'm glad you found it. I knew you would. What? What am I out here? Why am I out here? Well, Mr. Pavki would probably scold me if I tried to give you a reward. He'd say something like, she should not be meddling in our affairs. I know, I know, he's right, but I can't help it. Whenever I decide to do something, I just can't think of anything else. You know something? The more I listen to Mr. Pavki's stories, the more I can see the gap in understanding between the Galka and Humes. But the Galka should be bl shouldn't be blamed for that, you know? Humes haven't exactly been nice to them, putting them to work and all. She is, she's very right. Most of the people who died in the accident, Mr. Pavki was caught in, in Wargulka too. In Wargulka too. There we go. I wish I could somehow bridge the gap between the Gulka and Humes. Well then, enough talk. I have to go. See you around. Bye, Cornelia. What a nice lady. Woo, 550 smackers. Hey, Pavki. Cornelia is pretty cool. 20 years ago, there was a war between us and the Beastmen. Captain Volker of the Mithril Knights and Chief Engineer Sid became heroes in the war. But this is Hume history. Few but us know that we lost our best swordsman, the Dark Knight Zed, during the conflict. He still hasn't been found, either alive or dead. Of course, to Humes, it's just a historical detail soon forgotten. Love Cornelia. I'm, I'm, starting, to, I'm starting to get some feelings towards Cornelia, too, especially when she's giving me big old payouts like that. Cornelia, I think, might be Bay. For all the uh, the females in game that I've met so far, that I I would have to say is making Bay list, I think Cornelia might just be at the top of it right now. Cornelia might be at the top.